basic networking devices bridges what is coming in your mind when you hear the word bridge yes that's right a structure carrying a road path railway etc most probably across a river or road or any other obstacle in this chapter we are going to talk about bridges not this bridges we are talking about the network bridges welcome to ccna 200301 implementing and administering cisco solutions Chapter number 5 Basic Networking Devices Bridge In this chapter we will learn about the network device bridge their specification and working principle in a network What is a network bridge What is the definition of a network bridge A network bridge is a device or software component that serve the function of connecting and forwarding network traffic between two or more separate network segments effectively making them operate as a single network this is the symbol of a network bridge a network bridge will show in any network diagram as shown in the symbol and the below image is the real image of a network bridge the network bridges are very old generation devices and nowadays we are not using in any kind of production network Now let's discuss what is the working principle of a network bridge. To understand the working principle of network bridge, first we need to discuss about the working principle of network hub. We already talked about network hub in our last chapter. So if anyone want to watch that chapter again, I had put its link in the description. You can click there and watch the chapter. Now let's talk about the working principle of a network hub. Consider a network diagram as shown in the screen. that four computer pc1 pc2 pc3 and pc4 are connected to a network hub so as per the broadcasting characteristic of network hub whatever the data it receive in one interface it will broadcast to every interface of it that means if pc1 want to send some data to pc4 the same data will be broadcast to all the port so pc3 also will receive the same data and pc2 also will receive the same data but since the pc2 and pc3 are not the destination devices they will ignore the data and only pc4 will receive the data now one of the major disadvantage of network hub is that they have only one collision domain so that means if multiple devices connected to a network hub only one devices can send or receive the data at a time so that means pc1 can either send the data or it can receive the data but it cannot send and receive the data at the same time and the same rule is applicable to pc2 pc3 and pc4 so in that case when multiple devices try to send the data at the same time for example the pc1 send the data to pc4 and at the same time if pc2 try to send the data to pc3 then the both data will collide each other because the hub has only single collision domain so in that case the pc2 will not send the data at the same time of pc1 sending the data it will wait till the path is clear the collision domain is clear then pc2 send the data later on so that means the devices cannot send and receive the data at the same time they have to wait so this waiting period maybe it can take some time depend on the data transfer to the single collision domain so that's why the hubs are very slow compared to the other network devices because each device need to wait till the other device complete the data transfer so consider the image there are four devices connected to one network hub so that means at a time only one devices out of that four devices can send or receive the data now let's consider another scenario as shown in the screen here we can see that four devices are connected to two network hub hub 1 and hub 2 
so is there a difference between this scenario and previous scenario i would say no because network have as only single collision domain even they are connected in series multiple hub for example even though we are using two network hub hub 1 and hub 2 this all network has only a single collision domain because this hub has one single collision domain and the same collision domain is applicable for this also so even if we connected multiple network hubs in series they all have a single collision domain so that mean even if we increase the number of network hubs in a network all the devices connected to that network should use a single collision domain because hub has a single collision domain by default now in this scenario we use two network hub both network have a single collision domain that means this single collision domain should be divided in between pc1 pc2 pc3 and pc4 what if we can divide this single collision domain into two collision domain this is the beauty of lan separation with the help of a network bridge let's see how to do that so in this image we can see we have introduced one network bridge between the hub 1 and hub 2 So why do we use a network bridge in between them? The main function of a network bridge here to separate the collision domain. This network bridge divide the single collision domain into two collision domain. That means here we have a single collision domain presented by this hub 1 and we have another collision domain that is presented by the hub 2. So this collision domain is shared in between pc1 and pc2 and the second collision domain is shared in between pc3 and pc4 so that means the single collision domain from the previous scenario is divided into two collision domain with the help of a network bridge now we can see only two devices are shared in between one collision domain so that means the pc1 or pc2 can either send or receive the data at a time in this collision domain and in the same way either pc3 or pc4 can send or receive the data at the same time in the collision domain 2 now let's talk about some of the features of network bridge bridge are second generation devices we know that the network hubs are the first generation devices when the ethernet history introduced network hubs were globally used to connect multiple devices into network now after the first generation of network hubs bridge are considered as the second generation of the devices now in this picture we can see one network bridge is introduced in between two network hub so the main function of network bridge is to divide the single collision domain into multiple collision domain so that means they can connect multiple lan together as a single lan Now in this picture we can consider this as lan 1 and this as lan 2. Now this lan 1 and lan 2 can connect together as a single network with the help of a network bridge. Network bridges are all generation devices and we are not using that in the current production networks. Now another point bridges are used to bridge different lan together. So as we discussed the lan 1 here and lan 2 here can connect with the help of a network bridge so as we discuss the lan 1 and the lan 2 can connect together with the help of a network bridge and they can work as a single local area network bridge divide a network into segment and each segment represent a separate collision domain we already talk about that thing because when there is no bridge and when we use two hub together we get a single collision domain now the function of bridge here to divide that single collision domain into two different collision domain collision domain 1 and collision domain 2 the collision domain 1 is divided in between two devices pc1 and pc2 the collision domain 2 is divided between two devices that is pc3 and pc4 So in this way 
we can increase the speed of network and we can decrease the possibility of collision bridge work at the data link layer of the osi model osi model is a framework used to describe the function of a networking system so here we can see layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 layer 5 layer 6 and layer 7 each layer has its own function so when we talk about network hubs they are working at the physical layer of osi model but the network bridges are working at the data link layer of the osi model network bridges are working based on the mac address of the device for example when a local area network is connected to network bridge it store all the mac address of the network devices associated with that network so it store the mac address of pc1 and pc2 at the interface 1 and it store the mac address of pc3 and pc4 at interface of 2 so the network bridge know the mac address of pc1 and pc2 is connected to interface 1 and the mac address of pc3 and pc4 is connected to interface 2 so when the devices start the traffic it will check the destination mac address and it will forward the traffic to that interface for example if the destination mac address is belongs to the pc4 the network bridge know the pc4 is connected to the interface second then it forward the traffic to the second interface so it can reach to the pc4 bridges help to reduce the collision domain yes that's right we already discussed about that thing because if there is no network bridge in between these two network hub then the entire network is considered as a single collision domain and when we introduce the network bridge so it divides the entire collision domain into two single collision domain so that is the main function of the bridges so here in this picture we talk about the network hub in the previous chapter network hubs are like a single track road that means only a single device can send or receive the data at the same time now the network bridge what it does now the network bridge divide the single collision domain into multiple collision domain so that means instead of a single track of road it make a double track of road so that means this track can be used by the red car and green car to send and receive the data and this track can be used by blue car and yellow car to send and receive the data so when network bridge increase the number of collision domain the network speed also gradually increased bridges help in broadcast traffic management how the network bridge help in the broadcast traffic management consider there is no network bridge here so what will happen the entire network has a single collision domain so when one device send the data to the other device it broadcast to all the devices associated in that network and now when we introduce the network bridge network bridge divide the single collision domain into two different collision domain so that means this is a broadcast network and this is another broadcast network so that means when pc1 send the data in this collision domain it only is broadcast to the devices associated in that collision domain it is not sending the broadcast to the other collision domain in the same way when pc3 send a data in the same way when pc3 send a data it broadcast that traffic to all devices in that collision domain only it is not passing through the bridge and sending to the other collision domain so this is how a network bridge help in broadcast traffic management so in this chapter we have learned about the network device bridge their specification and working principle in a network thank you for watching subscribe to the channel to get more videos